course, we're back with another pretty quick look at my video. So yeah, I'm really sleepy and tired. The guys cannot tell. I am sleepy and I'm tired. You know, I already know I have the hand capsule music in the background. Of course, I'm just like gross. I have to always do it every year, though, no matter what. Though, so. um, yeah, okay, I do it every year. I think I did like I, I know I did it last year. I think I did it year before when a couple years ago when um, LR Go for Black and some also came out for global. Oh, Halloween. I know they came out on Halloween for that long. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go over all the new Halloween info. We basically got the Halloween event for 2021. Everything, of course, I've had new spooky, that's a spooky scary skeletons. Spooky surprise Doku came in, of course. Okay, it's got a couple little things. We got World Tournament, boys. We all, we all were Doku and JP like, haha, you idiots got World Tournament. Now go buy it. Now we're, now we're just, just so much stuff that's going on in the info. But of course, we're here. Go probably break through it and stuff like that pretty quick. I know Android Eight's um little teaser right here. Only really because that we have an Android Eighter right here from V Jump. Um, and of course, um, 17 coming from the blue arc coming to Dokken, I believe, for like Halloween event. Uh, this is the start is the TR. I made a whole video for it already, though. Um, I know this is the event down there. Again, I made a whole video for this, though. There's more stuff at the bottom of our like, oh, Triple Z's, yeah. Again, this could be just coming to JP, but there's one compliment they have that might be the Halloween stuff for 2021 because last year we had a girl from Coleman Japan. Came out at the same time as Gold JP. Not for like the VGM stuff, but yeah. Of course, going over it really quick because I'm tired of her to get this video. I love about but she misses typical stuff. We have Stone Sail, the new um, Court Banner. We have, we'll be, we all do this for Halloween anyway. Um, Goku and of course Piccolo from the um, Girl Jr. Phil Arc. Um, it's a little weird because you know, they, they didn't tweet it out, I think, a couple hours ago. I'm going to make a short though. That's what will probably come out with before this video. Just going to go for all the day. I don't want to film something like that. Um, then our Global Guy Day download. I know JP got one. I got to upload those videos as soon as I can. Shorts. Just shorts. I don't want to upload those as soon as I can. I might do it tonight. I don't know, I'm just, again, I'm really tired of the really tired of last couple nights. Um, I did, because I'm sick though. Um, Otokai Banner, uh, the new Kahan Drug Junior Story Banner is going to get updated, so we're going to have the new Piccolo and Colon Awakening. Um, a new stage, that's your stage, but a new Sport Memories is going to be added for this one. Let's go ahead and add another GC Sport Memories, because I said in the first part, for Gohan Celebration, that they're going to add the GC Story stuff, which is, again, pretty good though. This is adding it here, and it makes sense, you know, you know, it actually really does, because it's the GT Team Celebration. It's good to kind of just add this stuff in here, just because, because do all the good way for another GT Celebration. Kind of blends it right now as well, though, so it's just, I don't know. I don't know, Black Star Dragon Ball is, you know, garlic drinking, mortal. I don't know, kind of similar thing, you know, before coming up a close split, so. I don't know. Um, so yeah. Uh, we have, a, of course, pack like we did last year, a premium color ticket, I think, for LR Go Home, because I believe it's going to be easy, 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 we were having we were with Goku pulling on his tail. I'll probably like add that there for the early release the early real cool stuff. So, yeah, same cycle stuff. Of course, like I said, Rising ZA. Um, Rising Event's coming back though, so that means um, World Tournament, of course. Yeah, all Goku Goku Pickle Stitch is going to be back because I think he knows to definitely get into our I believe. Um, Jiju's event's going to be up. Um, EZA area for Raditz. Um, it's going to be back up for World Tournament. I think right that out. Oh, I'll be this from um, the last couple years coming back as well. In their perspective, these easy areas. Um, this one, I believe, it's the Boma Battle Rapids. Yeah, World Tournament. Um, a new full surprise is, I guess, like in the Halloween Baron, like last year, because last year we had like a whole bunch of Duke Fest come back specifically. Again, like I said, last year we had a whole bunch of Duke Fest come back, um, and they basically, it was like, I think, like, SCR Cooler, Barnock, AGL Barnock. Enter 13, like a bear basically for you, so the work could come back for a long time. So I guess some guys send them right here. And get my like stone seals, like tickle or tickles. I might have tickets, I don't know if they could bring it out because I did last year. Yeah, you cannot, yeah, last year you can buy a ticket. Really good. Because last year you can't actually buy a ticket. And, um, first bear specifically, like, oh, like you had to buy a ticket. They get, um, you fill up trophy and you can basically buy it some other banner. Pretty simple, pretty easy stuff, though, like I said, though. Oh, uh, Gohan's Run Games, Easy and Global. Again, I didn't. I think they came out, he was actually pretty solid. Again, they didn't change that much for him, though, so he's pretty decent as well. I'm gonna go over it, so. I, again, I'll make the videos around this one more or whatever. I'll make the ZZ's kind of come back, so it's physical. Um, see, so Sherman's ZZ is gonna be up. Uh, we have World Tournament stuff right here. Oh, World Tournament stuff right here. So, yeah, I do go home from them, so. Um, yeah, sell Philip Arch and Gunner from Gunner Ball Team. I think these are all just some sort of events coming back, though. That's all the stuff that we got, though, so. Um, yeah. 
It was different celebration. Again, like last year, last year was pretty okay as well. That's one again, like I said, it's made like a cool celebration. But if you had a part one and part two, um, both are actually not bad though. Like I said, both aren't really actually that bad. They're both are actually pretty decent. Again, we got a chain battle. We got some. We love Crove tickets. We got some, some little bit of some stuff here and there. Uh, we all know what's gonna come up. Of course, Goku and Piccolo really don't make sense in the Halloween, the highs, but I mean, Piccolo's a demon, you know, Goku's a demon. There you go. Half human, half sand. There you go. So, um, yeah. Um, the celebration info, not that bad actually. I, don't, I think it's pretty decent though. Like I said, World Tournament, we got um, a lot of big old girls. Goku. Again, you really don't need them. They're not they're something you really necessarily. It's not something you really necessarily need on your team or whatever though, but it's good to I guess have them for clutch purposes. You really don't need them, like I said though. Um again, you really, really, really don't need them. But overall, we need to it's a pretty pretty decent and stuff like that, of course. Though. But um yeah, again, they seem pretty decent. Um the whole campaign overall is not that bad, but again, like I said, we'll turn we got tickets. Um let him pull some good stuff in here, actually. It's really good stuff in here. Um again, part one was also pretty solid as well though, like I said, it's really just kind of a chill thing. Part two is good, but a little bit more active as well. Uh, he's a new Piccolo, of course, from Game Boy Um, we got to go into Piccolo Grilling because he's rolled on Jamaica and it was, yeah, it was obvious. Um, so yeah, he's gonna need to get stuff about that. They're pretty solid, they really get more support, you know, for Gohan, of course, and Doka Fest 1. Uh, pretty much, kind of, though, so yeah. New support memory, memory like I said, all the chopping with. Uh, bullet shotgun with Vegeta, because it has the core body in mind, of course, getting updated for this event, so you can basically go from there, use category boost for the event now, which is so good, again, for the metal, for the Buster Dragon Ball Saga one. Oh, thank you, that's so good, because I can promote those metal apples. Yes, I can promote some metal apples. So, yeah, um, like I said, though, with Gohan and Piccolo, Gohan, Goku and Piccolo, they're actually pretty okay, again, they have a custom mechanic, which you can probably easily get, um, yeah, I have six key, of course, he's gonna have six key, but not percent attack fit. Uh, for one turn, they I know it's LR, but a lot of people are gonna want it for Saiyan Saka. We potentially still could get one later in the future, though, but overall, though, this is still pretty solid. Though. Like, like I said, we really don't need them, they're gonna be really good for events and stuff like that. Um, the are their attack and defense up for both turns, are so gonna be really good. This is gonna be solid if you're running a Saviors category, and you know, Saviors pretty okay as well. But, um, they're not that bad, though, like I said, they're really not that bad, nothing like you really don't need them. When they first came out though, but overall though, uh, as a ring them now, they seem um very solid though still. Um when they first came out because a lot of people don't really talk about them that much though, but they're still pretty good solid, you know, though again like, happened like with it from like months now, so yeah. And yeah, I'll probably go the hype above bar somewhere around me, I'll probably call the info and stuff like that fire. Like all the videos I get for all those guys though, because it's been so long since I went over them though. So yeah, they seem pretty okay though, like I said, you really don't need them. Um they're just a kind of good because like a trophy, you know, like a real or so nowadays, like oh the shiny new toy, but you really don't need them though, so yeah. Um, I think Gohan's right here as well. I mean, like I said, they didn't really change that much of him when he first came out again. All he really needed was defense and they pretty much gave him that already. And then, again, tech the test has not really changed for easy A's though, but he's a easy A LRs, but um in general though Gohan still was really like like I said, he's not like the most overlap like, broken unit in the game, but we wanted our uh, Savior Lord and God Gohan, but he's still good. Yeah, like I said, he's still pretty pretty good though. And like longer events and stuff like that, he's again he's gonna be really good against get tech a lot of his defense. Um got up now and it's pretty much all he really needed though, so again like I said didn't really change that much dipping in defense and they pretty much gave him that here with him. So yeah, again like I said, really really good though of course. I think this one is the uh, Tao. No Gohan and um okay no Krillin and um Piccolo. Yeah, they're mainly just a support for Gohan. They're really advanced category units and stuff like that though. So um yeah, they actually are really good though. Like I said, they're actually, for free play unit, they are actually really good. They can have what's that defense really good. Yeah, so yeah, you're basically one who's gonna go on stuff like that, like this, and go on. You can actually do feel like some little banner units. Like, you know, having free plays do feel like some little banner units nowadays, if it's with a down celebration. Who oh, no, because that is our bond door, I would pretty bleh. I mean, compared to that, to these guys, I mean, they're just, you know, pretty much kind of water, but. Um, not these guys. These, are, these guys are actually really, really good for Gohan. So yeah, again, you are one him with, with Gohan or another heavily events category leader. Again, like I said, him and them and Gohan. And you can probably run as a Zar Piccolo. Imagine being in heaven right there. Like, they're basically your team right there, though. But it was cool if it was like Krillin just along those and get a Piccolo and Krillin. But you can't remember both of them, though, because it's just Piccolo and Krillin they don't make it. Chow and other Gala, like I said, though, do a lot of damage and stuff like that, though. Even though he has like five bonuses, which a lot of always have, though. But again, he's good. He's still output a lot of damage. That's a lot of video for him. So can output a lot of damage, though. I think Deco from when came out. I think I did. I got, I got from this video. It's been so long, though, so. But no, because he was supposed to be the thumbnail, which is thank you for me. Yeah, I think I did like a 3 day download video for these guys in the camera. So yeah, um, this one is a new Gohan 
amazing like saying probably the best war tournament card in the game I don't care I'll stick by that forever for all way until my Dokken career ends or Dokken he is the best war tournament card in the game I don't care what you guys say I don't care best war tournament card in the game I'm sticking by that no matter what love this go on to death I'm gonna subscribe for him and war tournament's gonna be at the end of Halloween though so like a last day of like last day of Sunday yeah nice job Dokken you did a really good job Again, like last year we had like World Tournament literally on New Year's. This year, you got it right here. On Halloween. Match up. But yeah, Gohan's really good though, of course, like I said though. Um, I think Cell's pretty okay though, like I said. Um, no, because actually he's been thinking about keeping someone. It's gonna be really good support and support like that for himself. Maybe if Frank gets both of the enemies, it's gonna be really good. Maybe it's just because that's more about the whole time military. But yeah, he's gonna be pretty solid though, like I said. You know, in December? Holy crap, I'm so much over with this guy. Holy crap, December is not feel like December. That's crazy. Holy crap. It's, if this isn't December, I went over this guy. Holy crap, like December of 2020. Holy crap. I, I feel like I just went over him. Holy crap. But yeah, he's gonna be, like, be really good though, for like long events again, fighting like maybe two or more enemies. Not really long events though, but like two or more enemies get have all his deck defense up a lot. It's gonna mainly be a, a villain class support unit though, but. Yeah, overall he's a really good unit. Again, the, the thing is that Goku can always use stuff together it's just really literally because he great Sam Man again, another ultimate card again, recommend getting him through the first grade, awesome. No need to say anymore. You go, I don't care. Oh, I think Main Mask right here as well. I know it's all like Ultraman unit again, like I said though. Uh, but yeah, he has mainly just kind of HP restriction and getting the thing it's one enemy. He's good, he's gonna be really good, really good for like a, he's gonna be really good as well though. Um, in general, but again, you have like 50% less HP, but in dodging, again, you gotta not really allow his dodge like that. I think I said that before as well. Um, but it came out in July, okay, that wasn't that long ago. I think before I think the town celebration, or someone did the town celebration, before I started. Uh, but not really bad unit as well. Again, like I said, you got to find what enemy HP has to be a little bit lower, but, um, and his dodging is going to be really good as well, because he's going to dodge a lot, though. He's a really good unit, he does a lot, though, as well. This one is Tiki Chun. I saw a Kamehameha unit, again, like I said, it doesn't like really crazy after the Awakens, but again, like I said, if you need that's coming from my house support, and or Dragon Ball team support, they're really good. Um, I like unit for Wormer Gothic, but I think it's like Anine, I think that's her name, Anine. I think that's her name though. She's a Moji Dragon Ball, I think like a fell arc, like going before Goku, very shiji and stuff like that. I think it's like a little fell arc there. Oh no, it's really good. It's canon, but it's also really good. Uh, but yeah, I like, saw unit for Swarm of Gods, seen a lot of people use Swarm of Gods, and that's like a big house. Not as much so nowadays though, but again, a lot of things are just kind of forgotten at the same time though. But she's gonna be pretty solid as well though. This one's gonna be a new Goku, who's actually really good as well though. Another great really good unit. It can be enchanting, stunning, and like, you know, other stuff. But, um, yeah, he's gonna have a lot of new chances to do a super attack and double super attack. He's gonna do a lot of damage and do a lot of super attack stuff for you guys, so yeah. I uh, think this one is just Shinshimon. I forgot about his easy hate. Oh, I don't know. I know Global just gonna do Super Battle Stages because it's supposed to come out in the Super Battle Stages. I know a lot of people are so sad about that though, but you know, it's whatever, whatever. Uh, he's also really good for like GT bosses and stuff like that. Like I said, they're gonna do a lot of good, you know, with your additional like defense and so, super attacks. He's gonna take a lot. I mean, he might not be the best unit in the game though, but go for it. Um, he's okay though, like I said, he's pretty okay. Again, I'm nothing to call Mech or like, again, like out of every EZA, he might hit the EZA, he's probably like lower, but. So it'll be really good for GT bosses like Enterprise, I'm speculating though. But yeah, I just remember Jeff for all the whole new stuff, like I said, coming up. There's a lot of stuff coming up for Bobo. Um, you get a lot of just a lot of units because just because of Bobo, like War Tournament, like, for example. Um, Bobo has like this War Tournament right now, it has a whole bunch of awakenings and just units. I just brought like <sighs> crazy because again, um, all the like for example, like the War Tournament, like whatever War Tournament, like because I know JP's on the 40th, I think like JP's on the like, third. I can't remember what JP's on, like for example, like 30 or 4 Ultraman, whatever waking has come with that, like, um, like a GT or like a Goten or whatever, it came out with that, um, War Tournament or whatever, I'm just bringing up examples, we won't get that waking for that War Tournament specifically though, but, um, yeah. Lots of units, lots of craziness for World Walking, a lot of units, probably a lot, I see so far. A lot of new events, a lot of new stuff though, so yeah. See you guys there though, thanks for watching, have a great day, great love, hope you're in though, make sure you stay safe, wash your hands, God bless, and follow me, if you're going out, and I'll put in the way, really, really, we do! So what I think about all this info though, of course, like, you need to get a lot of craziness for global right now. I know new Super Barrow stages, they could skip that in Loki a little bit though, but a lot of new crap. Like, there's so much, like, so many units, so many World Tournament stuff. Again, I'll make a day download short on this, um, very quick though, again, lots of craziness. See you guys later though, again, though. So, 